In my last video, I covered the World Governance Index that was uh, being established in order to chart the progress of world government. Um, it touched a little bit upon some of the special interest groups and other social and civil groups that are sort of leading the cause towards global governance. And this is one I came across today. Um, thought I would share it with you guys. They go by the name WFMC, the World Federalist Movement Canada. And just to quickly give you a bit of a, a rundown on who these guys are, uh, we'll take it from their own words. The World Federalist Movement Canada, WFMC, is a nonprofit research, education, and advocacy organization. WFMC has approximately a thousand members and supporters across Canada. Sounds like a small group. I think uh, even the NAUresistance.org membership is a little higher than that, I'm proud to say. Uh, they go on to say the WFMC president is Honorable Warren Almad. Uh, sorry, Almond. The WFMC is the Canadian section of the International World Federalist Movement. World Federalists support the application of the principles of federalism to world affairs in order that global governance becomes more equitable, just, and democratically accountable. So what they've already assumed here is that world government is a reality and they're here to ensure that it becomes more equitable, just, and democratically accountable. A uh, little quote they include on their website here, World Federalist thinking has always been ahead of the political process and has occasionally instigated it. Yeah, no doubt. This whole thing has been instigated right from the beginning. We'll swing over to their About page. More than any time in human history, we are one world, finding the means, the legal and political structures, to adequately and democratically address global problems is one of the greatest political challenges of our time. World Federalists are committed to overcoming the divisions of our world among competing states, interests, and sovereignties. We understand and uphold the oneness of humanity and recognize the many technological, social, and political forces that are stitching together tomorrow's global community. World Federalists are organized in Canada as a non-profit citizens movement dedicated to advocating the application of the principles of democratic federalism to world affairs. So we're going to take a look at uh, who are you can check out this page and uh, they list all their executive committee their members of council but they also go on to mention WFM Canada is a member organization of the International World Federalist Movement and then there's a website linking back to the their international hub um, so the fact that they only have a thousand members so far stated on their website in Canada um, is only one small tentacle of this uh, federalist movement or I should say world federalist movement <clears throat> I took a quick look at uh, the names on the list here I'm not familiar none of these names are standing out to me however a few of them look like they'd be interesting to uh, take a look into to somewhat tie this all together I am back at the about page and I'm just gonna go back over something they mentioned here uh, finding the means, the legal and political structures to adequately and democratically address global problems is one of the greatest political challenges of our time. Uh, going back to some of the examples I shared with you guys in the past in other videos, I'm just going to point out to two uh, that match uh, what they're talking about here. Finding the means, the legal and political structures so here for uh, legal structures on an international global level we have a group called the uh, Hague Institute for the Internationalization of Law 
uh, national law in a global society shaping the law of the future. And for its political component, they have the UNPA campaign, which is a United Nations effort to create a world parliament. So it seems as though their agenda is coming along quite nicely. And at the same time, in North America, we have a group I'm showing here that calls themselves the North American Forum on Integration, or NAFI, that have just recently in uh, Mexico held the North American model legislature. Contrary to our own Canadian legislature, um, Canadian students were allowed to go down to Mexico to participate in a new type of parliamentary system that they're trying to develop, which I can only see would go hand in hand with the world parliament that the United Nations is trying to set up, um, which I showed in the just a few moments ago. Another interesting side note is uh, the logos themselves. I find uh, Nafi's little insignia here logo pretty closely matches uh, the same type of deal going on at uh, WFMC where they have uh, the diamond shape or double pyramid you could say um, type logo which is uh, a whole nother story. But there you have it, uh, they're all working hard to ensure that we get the best global government we can possibly have in a challenging world where we can all be good global citizens on the new global plantation that they have all laid out for us. And the WGI will be there with their impressive statistics on on just how successful these NGOs, special interest groups, and political think tanks have been in guiding us on our journey towards one world government in a new world order. I'm going to leave you with that. If you have any information you would like to add, anything you come across uh, that's along these lines that you would like to share, please feel free to do so. And thanks a lot for watching.